I'm going to show you on the Ring app how to set up a motion zone. So basically, if you've got certain areas on your, um, we're going to do the front porch. If you have areas on the front porch that you don't want to record, uh, let's say you've got a flag or something that moves all the time, a tree that blows all the time, you can actually mask that tree out so it doesn't set off the camera over and over and over. <laughs> so what I want to do is I want to go into the three little dots by the camera. I'm going to go into settings and I'm going to go to motion settings. Now once you're in here, the first thing on here is motion zones. When you click on that, it's going to pull up your front door camera. Let me flip my phone so we can see it a little bit better. You'll see a blue dot in here. The whole thing is blue when you first get it. You click on that blue dot and you can actually move these little dots around. So like mine, I've got it set so I don't catch the main road out at the street. But as soon as they get in my driveway, it'll actually trip it. I've got this tree over here to the right blocked off. And I've got the tree over here to the left blocked off. So basically the only time it's going to send me a notification is if something walks in this one little zone right here. When you're done, you hit save. And let's say in your case you have a pathway in the middle, but nothing on the left or right. You can add another zone. And basically you can set another zone over here. So you could create, um, if motion happens in that area, you could create another zone over there. Uh, or as many as you wanted. You can create, I think, four zones in here. And basically, you can mask all the areas you want to catch the motion. And anything that's not in that little zone will not trigger the camera. So you're not constantly getting alerts for this tree blowing here, this tree blowing here, or cars driving by. If your main street's back here, you can mask it off so where it's not catching the cars going down the road. And then when you're done, you hit the Save button. I'm going to hit Delete because I don't want to add that zone. I'm going to hit Done. And when you're done, that's all there is to it. You go back, takes you back to your main settings. Now your inside cameras are similar, a little bit different. I'm going to pick the garage camera I've got here. Same thing, hit the three dots, go into settings. I'm going to go into motion settings. Now the new app, if you've downloaded the latest software, will have a motion wizard set up. You can go through it. If you want to do it manually, you would do the same thing. Motion zones. And again, um, right now I've just got the entire garage basically. But let's say I didn't want to catch myself going in out of that door. I would just click on that and I would drag those little dots around to wherever I needed them to. Same thing. I would create a, another zone. This works on the inside camera, the outside camera. Um, when you get done, you can hit done. You hit the plus sign, would add another zone. And you can create as many zones as you need to to mask off the areas that you don't do. So I'm going to leave this. I'm not going to save any changes because I want mine to record the entire garage. When I'm done with that, back out, that takes me back to the main menu. And that short video was how to create zones or mask off areas that you don't want to record or to actually mask in the areas you do want to record. Um, hope everyone liked the video. Please click like and subscribe. Uh, for more short videos on the Ring, click on the uh, playlist that says Ring. And I broke these out into a bunch of little segments. Uh, for individual settings for people that didn't want to watch a 20-minute uh, video on how to do everything. Uh, so if you want to watch how to do everything, there's a video on that or will be shortly. And if not, click on individual segments for small, uh, short lessons.